Australia's largest barramundi farm, has started experimenting with black Jewish, understood to be world first for aquaculture. Key points black Jewish fish are valued for their meat and thick swim bladders, black Jewish fish are valued for their meat and thick swim bladders, Humpty Doo Barramundi Farm is expecting to harvest its first black jewels in two years. Humpty Doo Barramundi Farm expects to harvest its first black jewels in two years. Darwin hosted the World Fisheries Conference this week. Humpty Doo Barramundi in the Northern Territory is currently home to thousands of juvenile black gems bred by researchers at the Darwin Aquaculture Center. Jason Clark, the farm's fish production manager, said the team was excited to see if black jewels would be suitable as an aquaculture strain. We've shifted them into a cage inside one of our ponds and they are growing very nicely, he said. Now they are up to 300 grams and doing well. The farm produces over 100 tons of barramundi each week and has now dedicated some of its ponds to the Black Jewish trial. Mr. Clark says there are some key differences between farming Jewfish and barramundi, including how they are fed. While barra is more of a predatory fish with eyes on the top of its head, this Jewish fish lasted little longer on the floating bait we used, he said. They took a little longer, a little bit slower, but now they're finding the feed. We're learning too, because as far as we know this has never been done anywhere in the world with this species, and we're learning a lot. Swim bladder value black gems are sought after in Asian markets for their meat, which is considered a delicacy, and an aphrodisiac, and for their highly prized swim bladders. The swim bladder, or airbag, is an organ that regulates buoyancy in fish. It thickens much in black Jewish than in other species. There has been a growing black market trade for them in recent years, with the bag selling for up to 1,000 per kilogram. The swim bladder of a black Jewish can be extremely valuable. Mr. Clark said the potential for breeding black Jews could benefit consumers and the species. Raising them this way potentially dissolves the black market and preserves species in the wild for future generations, he said. We estimate that the growth rates of these fish will be similar to barramundi, and they will be ready to harvest in two years. Great fish, but also cannibals aquaculture researcher Andrea Taylor, has been involved in black julie cultivation at the DAC since 2018. The project has received funding from the North Australian Cooperative Research Centre, she said. It will address knowledge gaps in the four production stages of fish hatching, larval rearing, nursery and growth. Ms. Taylor said she has a lot to learn, including reducing cannibalism. So we think lower stocking density may be a way to reduce this, but we have trials now. These black jewel fish are about four months old. Ms. Taylor said it was great to see Humpty Doo.